Hello and welcome my wisdom freaks. Today we will talk about four most famous unsolved problems in mathematics. We will start with the Riemann hypothesis. The Riemann hypothesis is one of the most famous unsolved problems in mathematics and it's at the heart of number theory, a branch of mathematics that deals with the properties and relationships of numbers, especially integers. At its core, the Riemann hypothesis is a conjecture about the distribution of prime numbers. Prime numbers are those integers greater than 1 that have no divisors other than 1 and themselves. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13 are all prime numbers. The German mathematician Bernhard Riemann first formulated the hypothesis in 1859. It revolves around a complex function known as the Riemann zeta function, denoted by Zs. The Riemann zeta function is defined for complex numbers SS of the form SS its spas it, where S and TT are real numbers and IEE is the imaginary unit. For real values of SS, the function is defined by the infinite series. See then Levinsies, A1 is 1. This series converges, i.e. approaches a finite limit when the real part of SS is greater than 1. However, the Riemann zeta function can be analytically continued to other values of SS, except S nano 1 sub 1, including values where the real part of SS is less than or equal to 1. The Riemann hypothesis states that all non-trivial zeros of the Riemann zeta function lie on the critical line Rees to Rees 21, where Rees Rees denotes the real part of SS and non-trivial zeros refer to those zeros that are not the negative even integers known as trivial zeros. In other words, if SS is a non-trivial zero of the Riemann zeta function, then Rees dov Rees 21. This hypothesis has profound implications for the distribution of prime numbers. If the Riemann hypothesis is true, it would imply very strong regularities in the distribution of prime numbers, making it easier to predict their behavior. Many important results in number theory have been proven assuming the Riemann hypothesis is true. However, despite extensive computational and theoretical efforts, the Riemann hypothesis remains unproven. It is one of the seven Millennium Prize problems designated by the Clay Mathematics Institute, each of which carries a reward of $1 million for a correct solution. Many mathematicians have attempted to prove or disprove the hypothesis, but as of now, it remains one of the most challenging and important unsolved problems in mathematics. Now we are going to unsolved problems number two. The Collatz Conjecture The Collatz Conjecture, a deceptively simple yet persistently unsolved problem in mathematics, has intrigued scholars for nearly a century. Proposed by German mathematician Lothar Collatz in 1937, it offers a straightforward set of rules. Start with any positive integer nn, and if nn is even, divide it by 2. If nn is odd, multiply it by 3 and add 1. Repeat this process with the resulting number, and continue until you reach 1. Despite its simplicity, the behavior of the sequences generated by the Collatz conjecture is remarkably complex. Take any positive integer as a starting point, and you'll find the sequence eventually dwindling down to 1, where it gets stuck in a repeating loop. 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, and so on. This convergence to 1 holds true for every positive integer tested so far, but a formal proof of its universality remains elusive. Mathematicians have extensively verified the conjecture computationally, exploring sequences for astronomical ranges of numbers. Yet, no counterexample has emerged to disprove the conjecture, nor has a rigorous proof been constructed to confirm its truth for all positive integers. The simplicity of the rules governing the Collatz conjecture belies its profound complexity. The sequence generated by these rules can climb to astonishing heights before ultimately descending back to one, exhibiting behavior that defies easy explanation. The Collatz conjecture's enduring mystery continues to captivate mathematicians and enthusiasts alike. Despite its lack of practical applications, its enigmatic nature underscores the boundless depths of mathematical inquiry, reminding us that even seemingly straightforward problems can harbor profound mysteries waiting to be unlocked. Now we're going over to unsolved problem number named the Navier-Stokes existence. The Navier-Stokes existence problem is a fundamental question in fluid dynamics, seeking to establish whether solutions exist for the Navier-Stokes equations, which describe the motion of fluid substances. 
These equations take into account factors like viscosity, pressure and velocity and are crucial for understanding phenomena ranging from airflow over an airplane wing to ocean currents. The Navier-Stokes equations are VT plus VV1 PUV plus after VV1 P2 VHOVV, where VV is the velocity vector field of the fluid, GT is time, PP is pressure, R is density, N is kinematic viscosity and F represents external forces. Solving these equations is notoriously difficult, particularly proving the existence of solutions. While solutions exist for some simplified cases, such as ideal fluids or steady flow, the existence and smoothness of solutions for general cases remain one of the seven millennium prize problems, offering a $1 million prize for a correct solution. The challenge lies in the highly nonlinear nature of the equations, leading to phenomena like turbulence, which complicates analysis. The existence of solutions is crucial for predicting and understanding real-world fluid behavior, making progress in this area of study of great importance in physics and engineering. Now we are going over to our last unsolved problem called the PV's NP problem. The PV's NP problem sits at the heart of computer science, posing a fundamental question. Can every problem whose solution can be quickly verified by a computer also be quickly solved by a computer? In simpler terms, it's about whether the ability to check solutions quickly, NP, implies the ability to find those solutions quickly, P. P represents problems that can be solved efficiently, with algorithms running in polynomial time relative to the input size. NP encompasses problems for which solutions can be verified quickly, but finding the solution might not be as straightforward. This problem isn't just an abstract puzzle. Its resolution would have sweeping implications across various fields. Cryptographic security. If P aches NP, it could compromise the security of many cryptographic systems, potentially enabling the efficient breaking of encryption methods that rely on the hardness of certain problems. Optimization and logistics. NP complete problems like the traveling salesman problem and the knapsack problem are prevalent in optimization and logistics. If they could be solved efficiently, it would revolutionize supply chain management, scheduling and resource allocation. Scientific and engineering applications, from protein folding prediction to genome sequencing, many scientific and engineering problems are NP hard. A breakthrough in PVS NP could accelerate progress in fields like medicine, biology and materials science. Efforts to resolve the PV's NP problem involve complex mathematical analysis algorithmic design and interdisciplinary collaboration. Despite decades of research, no definitive answer has been found. The implications of PVS NP extend beyond theoretical computer science, touching every aspect of our digitally driven world. Its resolution remains one of the greatest challenges and opportunities in the field, promising both intellectual enlightenment and practical innovation. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.